Apostle Paul, ambassador and servant of Christ. So, who was this man? The scriptures tell us more about the Apostle Paul than any other apostle in the Bible. In fact, a third of the New Testament is either by him or about him. If you combine the book of Acts with all his letters, you will find that more than a third of the New Testament focuses on this one man. Apostle Paul has had more influence on 2,000 years of church history than any other person except Jesus himself. You could even go as far as saying he's had more significant impact on the history of Europe than any other man. Well, there is Paul before his conversion, during his conversion, and after his conversion. Those are the three major phases of his life. Before he was converted, he was born in a place called Tarsus in the southeast of Turkey. He was of Jewish descent. He was Jewish, and he was very proud to be Jewish. He was from the tribe of Benjamin, and was named after the first king of Israel, who also came from the same tribe. Saul was convinced that Christians were dangerous. He felt, this is the greatest threat to our Jewish faith that there's been, and I'm going to fight it hard. In the end, the same passion was used to spread the gospel. Paul set out as an anti-Christian missionary. He was willing to be a missionary against Christians and to leave his own land and go and persecute Christians elsewhere. So, he was a missionary before his conversion, but on the wrong side. He had the perfect credentials to spread the Gospels, but how was God to use him if he persecuted Christians? His conversion. Before his conversion, Saul was a Pharisee of the Pharisees who intensely persecuted the followers of Jesus. According to the account in Acts, his conversion took place on the road to Damascus, where he reported having experienced the vision of the resurrected Jesus. He fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Saul replied, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest.